Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Cold War Iron Merton. Iron Merton? Iron Cotton mod for Hearts of Iron 4. Um, right now, we got to talk about purges in the uh, CCP, though. Uh, Chairman Mao and his supporters have utilized direct announcements, targeted articles in party newspapers, and the use of political allies to orchestrate a series of purges against senior members of the Chinese Communist Party. These purges are removing moderates who in recent years gained prominence in order to restore the Chinese economy's stability. However, these purges are necessary for Mao and his supporters to take control of the key positions to rehabilitate the image of Mao as a true leader of the revolution in China. Those targeted by the purges are often being removed from political posts and in more extreme cases are being arrested for counter-revolutionary activity. Concerning. Doesn't look, look like it's going very well over here for this guy, but very concerning. Right now we're doing burn counter-revolutionary literature. Uh, let's see, where are we at with this one? Uh, we're down here. Cool. We're down here doing this one. And we'll get another event, which I, I like the events. I like the events a lot. So, very cool. We got some comms to go through as well. And after this one, I think we're going to keep going down this side. The threat of anarchy would not be bad. We'll do this eventually. I don't know much about Zen Bao. I might actually look that up after this episode, or maybe in between this episode. We are doing really well, as we said with the title of the last video, with a space race, because we're doing really, really great. But uh, a cultural revolution charter would be quite good to do. Quite good. Quite good. So everything here on the left is pretty much done, which is good. Um, we still have stuff over here. I said like this stuff we can be way till last time. We still have not got any focus tree, which actually this might be the last focus tree we get. Obviously, like. Apparently, like, we could have had, like, another focus tree start up or something, um, with one of the decisions that we had before, but, eh, whatever. But some comments. Someone says we should play as Rhodesia. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know if they've, you think, uh, focus tree yet? Um, Ian Smith. Actually, yeah, they do. Yeah, what am I talking about? Yeah, I'm, yeah, they do. So eventually, maybe. I mean, it just depends on time. Like, uh, when people tell me to do campaigns, or suggest I do campaigns, I just don't have a lot of time. Like, there's so many nations I want to do. Nixon's policy of self, native self-determination. All right, cool. But, like, uh, to, allow, to control their own futures. Okay. Support the establishment of self-governing tribal communities. Hmm. Termination. Okay. Integrate Native Americans in, in all self-governing institutions. Large condemned termination as eradicating Native identity. All right, well, we'll see. I don't know. I really don't know much about Nixon. Obviously, everyone heard about, like, Watergate if you look up Nixon. But, like, some of the other stuff he did. Like, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm a little ignorant. I'll be honest. I'm a little ignorant. So, renewable energy conversion projects? Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, we like having renewable energy here in the People's Republic of China. Just don't look at potential cultural social revolutions and such. F fake news. The PLF, PFLP takes plain sausage. Oh. Well, that's probably not good. I like your gun, though. It's a nice uh, AK variant. Arab world rallies to King Hussein. Oh. Okay, well... Good luck, guys. We're going to stay over here in China. And then we'll probably grab industrial space planning. Hijack. Oh. Well, that's not good. This is, this is a bit too much, man. That's a bit too much. Yeah, that's a bit too much. How about, how about we calm down with hijacking stuff? Maybe maybe, maybe one once a year. Maybe. Kevlar is very nice, though. Wait, I like Kevlar. I've never put on Kevlar. Maybe I will someday. But, uh, oh, let's see, so what are we building? Oh, burn counter revolutionary literature. Oh boy. Under the direction of youth leaders and devoted party activists, millions of books are being ripped out of libraries, cultural and religious centers to be burned in public bonfires. Books that discuss counter revolutionary ideas contradict the guidance of Mao historical works, religious texts, or works of fiction that glorify the reactionary past are all among the works being collected for burnings. To cleanse China and purify the party, a direct destruction of the past and its impurities is essential. Mao teaches for new revolutionary literature and ought to emerge. The past must be cleansed and not allowed to interfere with the con continuous revolution. Anyone who opposes burnings would try to stop the collection of books were detained and will be tried as reactionaries. A tragic loss of knowledge. Quite. Uh, Cambodia Civil War. Well, that's, nothing's really going on. Soviet Union influence is not too much right now. Like Rome, we're just kind of close out of it. Arab world condemns crackdown. Nice holster, dude. Nice holster. The Moscow Treaty. The West German government and the Soviet Union recently concluded a new treaty called the... Oh, that's unfortunate for Jimi Hendrix. Called the Moscow Treaty. The two governments have agreed to normalize relations with one another. They also kept a uh, pledge to keep international peace, renounce the use of arms, and agreed it through post-World War II borders. The uh, treaty reflects the new policy of Ostpolitik being implemented by the current German government. By signing the treaty, West Germany has accepted its border with East Germany and for the most moment is push not pushing for German self-determination more significantly. The government has accepted Poland, controlling most of the former East Prussia. Many West Germany have expressed satisfaction with the reduction of tensions, but there's also discontent over the sacrifice of German borders and self-determination. The U.S. has expressed both expressed concern with the treaty. Very good. Well, it's only very good if you don't want Prussia back with Germany, so... <sighs> Germany could have been great. Could have been great. Alright, that one's done, and we're... Okay, to both. Nice. 
We'll be done with our air doctrine. Nice. So after this one, we'll probably go send Deng Xiaoping to the countryside. You better live so we can make TNO, so we can make Deng a spare. Arafat and Hussein sign Cairo Agreement. King Hussein attends Emergency Arab League Summit. There's so many things going on that we don't know about. Or at least, you know, historically, we're not talking about. I mean, obviously, in a, like, an American history class, you're not going to be talking about King Hussein attending Arab Emergency League Summit. Not really. Heck, I think in most American classrooms, you don't even get to, like, the modern day. Like, you might get up to the 70s, like, now, but, you know, whatever, you know. You don't get to talk about, like, topics that were within the past 30 or 40 years. Not too often. Maybe a little bit, depending on the classroom, but... Not too much, really. Yeah, they never taught me about Waco in high school. But whatever. Waco and Ruby Ridge. But whatever. Cool. Space race. We're still winning the space race here. China number one. Don't ever forget that. China number one. Electricity. $360. Renewable energy project. So we need renewable energy conversion projects, which we're doing. It costs five industrial parks for 250 days and $60 million, which means nothing. We remove one power plant fossil fuels and get one power plant renewables. So, power plant... Renewables plus six, power plant seven, and you burn one oil. So you get one oil back, or one petrochemical, and you lose one energy. Is that worth it? I think for now it'll be okay. They're not as effective, but, eh, whatever. Uh, religious stuff, Angolan War, we don't care. Communist International, no one cares, no one cares. Cool. Awesome. And what are we building up? So Millie's, two office parks, a few civvies, a few farms. Good, good, good. Even more office parks, more infrastructure. Very good stuff. Other comments. Someone says we should play as North Korea and create the home front scenario, like from the video game home front. Well, I guess I should probably say, yeah, I guess both games, yeah. I never really played them too much. I know this one of them was like really poorly optimized, so. But yeah, that'd be cool. Maybe sometime. Maybe. Um, the devs uh, on my Discord server, like one of the devs, has been telling me, um, uh, like, the People's Republic of China is going to get an update later on. Apparently, they're going to make it more difficult for us to get technology or research slots and have other things to do, especially with India, which sounds really awesome. Because honestly, by 1970, is it really fair that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine research slots? I mean, maybe it is. I mean, I don't know how, much, how many research slots America has, but wait. Why is Wyoming not a court? Wait. What happened? Is. Why are these states not courts? Oh, geosynchronous orbit achieved by the People's Republic of China space program. Nice. And the crowd goes wild. Talk some more experimentation with manned space projects on the works. This is amazing. Orbital rendezvous? Bro. Bro. We gotta keep going with that. But seriously, why is... I mean, I guess you can... No, no, not even... You can't even make this case for Alaska or Hawaii because they were states by 1970. Why are these... What's over here? The UN is over here in New York City. Oh. Can you even... You can click on them? I didn't know the UN was a thing. Who are you? Try, give, lie. Um, you have a lot of infamy. Declare war on cancer. What's well, it going to be like the war on drugs? It's going to be a su success. Was that one? Okay, so... There's nothing cord? Not even the cap... Not even the capital's cord. Is that... Is that intentional? Um, when we go to Mexico and all their stuff is cord, looks like. Did something break the game or something? Huge protest in Poland? Well, hopefully there's peace soon. It is what it is, I guess. Uh, I don't understand. Me no understandy. And we still gotta finish off North Vietnam. Come on, Vietnam. We gotta implement you harder. 95%. Just, just get under us. Taking out of context, that could sound really bad. But whatever. 1.09 trillion. Actually, I did want to see um, the United States. What is their GDP like right now? Oh, no, long. No, no. 1.7. We're not that far behind. We're like less than 0. 0.7. Office of Minority Business Enterprise. Huh. What is the sex ratio? Is it men or women? That has, or are they equal? Can you be considered a minority that way? You probably can. <laughs> Deng Xiaoping purged. Oh, wait. Oh. He served as a political commissar during the Civil War and emerged as a promising rising star in the Chinese Communist Party. We're going to do this one next, uh, violent urban protest too. When radical economic policies of Mao proved detrimental, he worked closely with President Liu Xiaoqi to institute economic reforms that moderated the, the radical elements of the previous economic policies. However, with the Cultural Revolution and his resurgence of Mao, Deng was in a dangerous situation for being identified as the Red Guard as a critic of Mao. Following the rest of Xiaoqi, or Xiaoqi, 
Dang faced more aggressive hostility and attacks by the Red Guard. The Red Guard also attacked his children and family, finally. Dang was denounced and purged from his positions in the national government, though he was not arrested. Instead, Dang will work as a factory worker away from central politics. Counter-revolutionaries must be dealt with. Oh. Cool. Well, bye, Dang. Maybe we'll see you later. Just don't order the crackdown in 1989 in a certain place in a, place in a certain square. Just don't order the crackdowns too hard, please. Please, the people don't deserve it, probably. Um, but yeah, he, Dang was a guy who did that, what was it, 1898 crackdown in the square. So, I think it was there. I, you know, I don't know my Chinese history that well. And you know what? I'm going to say, I'm going to venture a guess, and a lot of people in China don't know the history as well. But you know what? It is what it is. It is what it is. I'm a simple American on the internet. Sometimes. Sometimes. Cool. Uh, okay, so not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad? I mean, I'd, I'd love to be able to, you know, industrialize harder. But I heard that's going to be more difficult as well, so. Yeah, we'll see. Um, I want more office parks. I mean, our GDP growth, 10% is not good, not good enough. That's not good enough, man. Office parks, not bad. They're the third most thing, popular thing. Ooh, agriculture is right behind that other stuff, huh? Now, budget-wise, education is not too bad. Yeah, we can use a lot more. We can use a lot more. We can buy. Cool. So after... Oh, actually, what's the next technology we get done? Not bad. Other comments. So someone asked, is the mod optimization bad? Or is the optimization for this mod bad? I wouldn't say it's bad, but there's just so many things that the, the mod has to process. Obviously, the more developed a mod gets. Also, happy 1971, everyone. It's a new year for us. February 1st. But the more things that the, each nation has to do to calculate, it just slows things down no matter what game, like Victoria 2, uh, any other mod like TNO, even Old World Blues sometimes has been a little laggier than what it used to be just because there's more content and more nations and such like that. So... I would say the optimization is bad. It just it can be kind of difficult to progress in a campaign. Like you see me these videos. Usually we get about around three years work in every video. So it is what it is. But like, and someone was asking about my PC specs. My CPU is a Ryzen 7 3700X at the time of this recording. So I mean, I, I'm as you see, I'm trying to push this as hard and as fast as we can go. So it is what it is. Cool. And excesses of the far left factions. Cultural revisionary ac anarchy. Weekly stability. Oh, we get more weekly war support. Well, we do get plus point. Oh, we get. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Cool, cool, cool. Anything else down here? Uh, shippies? No, no. Okay, we're looking good. The the budget, the equipment is not looking terrible. We need more anti tank grenade M's, ATGMs, and IVs, but that's going to come on along very nicely. Uh, 101 billion, that's not bad. That's really not bad. Is there any other place we can spend money? Um, oh, this place is developed. Shangxi? Yes. Actually, how's this state looking now? 58%. There was one place that was like 60% somewhere here. Has it hit 70% yet? I hope it has. No. A lot of requirements are not met. Pre-industrial, that's so sad. 78, 78%. Now that's pretty nice. Oh, wait. Let's look it up. Zen... Oh, where is it? Bow. Zhang, Zhang Zhu, like we just saw over there. Uh, just because I want to make sure when we actually do it, we'll be ready to go. Z oh, Helio Zhang and Primoscori. Cool. Um, honestly, with all these extra research slots, I think we just kind of be okay with it. Just like letting time go on for now. It'll be okay. Go grab that one. Better reconnaissance, because we like it. So after this one, Modern Electrical Engineering. Oh, can we do that one next? Oh, Modern. Yeah, we can, because we need... we're going to be finishing up Modern Electrical Engineering. Great! Advanced public transit systems. Cool. More rocketry, maybe? Cruise missiles are nice. SBRMs. Um, I kind of want to keep doing more space stuff. I like the space stuff. Even though we can't r r quite literally benefit from it right now. Oh, well. So we're making quite a bit more infrastructure, which is okay. I honestly probably would prefer more industrial parks. So we just build, 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 build. So keeping one infrastructure is fine with me for now. Let's do that one so we'll get that one a little faster. Municipal... Ooh, that would not be bad either. Mm. Oh, yes. Yes, please. Not bad. And we can only get how much every single day for political power? 1.49. Cool. Yeah. We'll see what we can do. I'm going to put, like, mm, probably our tanks and such over there. Escalate the glo to global conflict. 
Oh, God. I think we'll do that one last, maybe. Let's try that one last. I don't know how strong the USSR is, but let's try that one last. How about that? The Treaty of Anarchy. A Threat of Anarchy. Okay. First Secretary Eric Honecker. Hock okay. He has health issues. Walt Oberst did. I have heard of Eric Honecker, though. Very cool. Unsurprising. So, okay. So, how strong is the USSR? If we're literally going to go to war with them. Uh, Brezhnev, smoking is not good for you. A lot of manpower like us, but we obviously... Oh my goodness, that's a lot of dudes. I don't think we'll be able to do well against them, I'll be honest. Especially, I mean, don't get... Wait, what happened to our faction? Well, it's Cuba. Well, hello. Cuba. What happened to Fidel? Fidel, you got rid of us. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't think we can really go to war. We can try it, but I don't think we'll do that well against these guys. Just saying. Oh, well, there goes our GDP. There goes how much money we're making. Um, well, that's not good. Culture. Oh, holy crap. Cultural revolutionary. Oh. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that's really bad. Minus 6.9%. Jesus Christ. Well, yeah, it's probably not a good idea to go to war with them over there. Just saying, at this point. Oh, man. Uh, this one's better. I prefer re reinforce rate. Uh, air to ground missile twos, cool. Oh, AGM. That's what it stands for. Duh. Carriers, ATM, GMs, uh, missile carriers. We can. Why not? Eight days. Air to ground. Oh, we're almost done with this, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. It is 1971. We should have maybe gotten a few more of these things. More defense would be nice. Yeah, I don't know if we're really good to war the USSR, especially if they have that many divisions. Obviously, a lot of them are not going to be good. But they're also allied to the rest of the Warsaw Pact. I mean, we might be able to win. We have no navy. We don't need a navy. But fighting in the... Fighting a land war in Asia is usually not recommended. Gives a more breakthrough, I guess. Um, anyone here yet? No, 18. That's not bad. Just wanted a, a GDP greater than America, man. Is that too much to ask for? Yeah, we're doing okay-ish. Not great, but okay-ish. 300 command power. That's kind of nice. Another comment was, do a commie United States of America run or Civil War America run? So, uh, someone's already suggested that, so we'll see. Maybe. Maybe in time. Someone also said, I should remove uh, some of the division templates, which, as you see, I have. We, we really cut them down. So, the militia, mountaineers, motorized, of course, infantry, and then, and, you know, garbage. Not garbage infantry, but they're not, just not great. Orbital rendezvous, yes. This is amazing. Yes, yes. Chuantan, Airborne, we make these guys 40 combo with because we can't. The Threat of Anarchy. Execute. Oh, crap. Um. Created coded conduct for the Red Guards. Yeah, let's do. Uh, we're losing so much stability, man. I did not feel good. So, we're going to go to the Metro Police. Hmm. Advanced Power Plant Miss Management Systems. Cool. Sure, we'll grab some of that too because we can. Um, nothing else here really. Yeah, that's not looking good for us, man. Not looking good for us. Oh, yeah, we can do this one now. Cool. Why not? Current treasury reserves 700 billion. Billion. Oh, wait, what is this? Uh oh. Limit the Red Guards. The excess. Oh, what the heck is this? Activates the mission. Remove the cultural anarchy. Go level 5 if we don't remove it. Holy crap. Um. This doesn't sound very good. Wait, is this... It's not going yet. Togolese Republic is gone. Goodbye. Uh, Limit the Red Guards. You know what? We're going to go all the way. We'll see what we can. Oh! We're a permanent member of the United States... Not, not United States, but United Nations Security Council. Cool. Ooh. I want to go up here, but... It's already 40%. Going up to 100% just is way too much for us right now. It's way too much. Um, secularism? It's okay. We're pro-union. Um, state media. Can't really change anything there. We have a little bit of corruption, but not that much. It's really not that much. Uh, you lose construction speed if you lose tax rate. Hmm... We don't have the PP for that either. Recon's nice. 
That was nice. Get some more signal support companies. Up next, anything else here? 10 days. Anti-slosh vortex baffles. Cool. That stuff is all a little bit ahead of time. Weapons of mass destruction, yes. Uh, defoliants? What the heck is Threshothetsin? Produced by mold that is responsible for countless famines and agricultural failures. Yeah! Let's do it! Nothing like agricultural failures, especially Chinese-made ones. Yeah! Just keep building, guys. Just don't worry about anything that's going on in the world. Just keep building. We need a higher GDP. We need more money. Just don't worry about it. Hey, nice. Institute Revolutionary Committees. Okay, we can just remove that anyways. Okay, so that's not bad. And they're still not going for some reason, so... I don't know. Some things might be bugged. Some things might not be bugged. Some things are intentional, maybe. Some things are not intentional. I'd like to spend more on education, but we saw last time. It, it just costs too much. Education. I'm sorry. People can learn on their own. <laughs> it costs too much. Healthcare. Oh, God. That doesn't really help us out. Will we get more production efficiency cap? Uh, for the cost, it's not worth it. Public services policy? 80% were nothing. Uh, it's not really worth it. It seems like military maintenance. This would be bad. Especially for more organization if we're going to fight th these guys up here. Yeah, I don't think we'll be really be ready. Yeah, chemical weapons. I love those. Cool. Someone says we should do the alternative PRC route. Because there was a focus, like, another focus that we could have loaded, apparently, instead. But, I don't know. We'll see what happens. 90 billion, that's fine. Not bad. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, maybe. So, yeah. We'll see what happens. I mean, I was recommended recommended to me that we should try out the historical USSR. Which means I'm going to be guessing what is historical. And I like that. Expand the asylums. I like that a lot. But yeah, like, we'll see. Their GDP... How is their GDP 3.12 trillion? Isn't America's like one less than two? Then again, they don't have cores on their states. They have 1.75. There's 3.12. Something... Do they have a higher GDP in real life? Maybe? I don't... Look at the fiscal reserves. Let's see... Yeah! Nixon, what are you doing? What did LBJ do? National Firearms Act. Are they coming from us, Second Amendment? Um, NATO member, whatever. Taft-Hartley Act. What is that? Sounds very familiar. Advanced plumbing. There's, like I said earlier in the, this episode... There's so many things that the school doesn't teach you that you learn about maybe, maybe later on. So. <laughs> Especially in the 70s and 80s and 90s. It's all like a wash. Look at that guy. Dude, you need to go out. You know, go out and work out. Look at, this almost looks like a pride flag almost. Look at all the colors they have over here. Huh. Romania. Interesting. Oh yeah, wasn't that nation like, they tried to get more births, but then they ended up having like a lot of abortions or something like that too. I'm sorry, just things... Just little tidbits of information I've heard over the years, and just... When you play Hoi 4 and have an online presence, you get told a lot of information. Every time I see this, I'm like, where's Burgundy? Where's Burgundian system? Italian Republic? Oh, hello. Mariano, you don't exist. De Gaulle still exists for now. Uh, who's in here? Damu? Institute Revolutionary Committee is nice. Promote the good officers. Yes. Uh, yes, yes, please. Less cultural chaos, please. Militant atheism. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, that's nice, right? You get 3% of stability. <sighs> it's actually really interesting. Like, with this, this campaign, I've been looking stuff up about China and the 50s, 60s, 70s, and the failures and the supposed successes and about stuff about China. It's just like, wow. Wow. Just, just, just wow. This is so sad. Just, is there a path? Oh, present. Ooh, New Yugoslavia. Oh, hello. Is there a way for Germany to get back to this area? Like, East Germany, like, be like, hey, hey, Papa. Uh, Papa Brezhnev, Daddy, uh, we'll give you some money for it. That'd be really cool. Hello. Hold on. Hold them. Antipalovich. Third position. Was that supposed to happen? Did that happen in the 70s? That seems kind of unlikely, but, like, I can see, like, them having resistance movements and stuff like that. But, uh, okay. Alright. Self-propelled. Not bad. Uh, I'll go with this stuff, too. Thank you. And then we're gonna get some of this stuff, too. Nice. Infantry gets more suppression bonus. I love suppression. Special forces get more defense. Damage garrison goes down. The VSS. Sniper rifle, huh? Cool. Oh, we're going to do some other stuff here, too. I forgot about this stuff. Supply grace. That's not too bad, either. Look at... Okay, so we helped our GDP out. It's back up to 1.14. Yeah, I think America might be a little bit uh, under the weather. 
So, that's yeah, not good for America. Who else? Ooh. Anything else here? I thought there was one more very soon. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. Um, yeah, no, I think we're okay. Here, we'll take it anyways. Limit the Red Guards? I guess? I don't know. <sighs> yeah, there goes Croatia. Crush again by Yugoslavia. Bye-bye! Um, how does Kurdistan... Did, did Kurdistan ever have an actual own state? Man, that GDP sucks. Just like Iraq. Al-Assad. Hafez. Al-Assad, huh? Shabab. Oh, yes, Israel. And Jordan still owns that. You kind of a small mustache going on. I might need to share that Hussein. Wait, oh, your name's just Hussein. You have no last name. Just Hussein. It might be hard to figure out if you're, someone's calling for you, but whatever. Um, Yemen. Abdullah Al Salal. Cool. Saeed bin Taimur. I love his beard, man. That's really good. Okay, and. More reliability. Uh, anything else here? Self propelled guns. Do we need that? No, I don't think I'm really using that. Actually, that's anti air, so. Uh, South Tech 17. It's alright. Promote the good officials. We love good officials. We'll invade those guys last. Deploy Lin Bao's PLA. Decrease cultural evolution and modifiers. Sure. America, what's wrong with you? As Diefenbacher, yep, Diefenbacher's still here. Um, what is what? Who are these guys like? Kubishek. You, you sound familiar too. I think I said that before too, but like, you sound sort of familiar. Peru. Um, what else is down here? Strasner. How's Africa doing? Rhodesia still exists for now. We'll see what happens to them. South Africa and Kustraus. Alright. Karma, Botswana. Portuguese Republic. Uh, are these still owned by the UK? Yeah, it looks like they are. No, no. The Sovos are actually here. Okay. Dude, what the heck? That looks cool. So, who's that? The second. Niger. Let's see. Guinea. Dude, I think it's like yesterday too. Like, look at that cigar. Oh yeah, or whatever it is. Bob Smith. Is that his real name? Is, that, is Bob Smith his real name? Hmm. Da homie. Gotta go play Vicky Two again. Me just looking at Africa. I just want to play. I just want to play Vicky Two. I just want to play more Vicky Two, man. I'm doing the PLA still. Uh, Republic of Turkey. Selal Bayar. I don't know. I'm probably saying that wrong. Papa goes. Enver. Hosh How do you say that last name? Hosha. Hosa. Wait. We like him. He's a Maoist. An anti-revisionist hardliner. He's a ruthless eagle. He's a zealous atheist and a whimsy character. Or uh, has a whimsy character. Nice. Bro, Albanian campaign when? Look at this. Look at that. They actually have a unique focus tree. You know what's a good ma when Albania has its own focus tree? And also we do get just a little bit more in GDP, so. Very nice. Oh, we're making more roads again. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. Um, it's almost 72 as well. Oh, Luxembourg. What about Luxembourg? Have I seen Luxembourg? Oh, nope. Yeah, I think we saw him earlier, but... Dries. Look at that mustache. Oh, boy. Afghanistan. Ah, uh, Pahlavi. Ban nationalist activities, huh? Well... We'll see about you. We'll see what happens. It's a little bit ahead of time. The other army speaking? Yeah, I'll do that one. Why not? Screw it. Techno technology to research? It is 1970. Type 61... 69I or... What? Oh! Deploy limb bowels groups. The deployment of the people's liberation army. With the revolutionary fervor sweeping the nation and the activities of the Red Guards going unsupervised, there was a growing fear within the senior party leaders that the situation was escalating. Chairman Mao, sensing this in the growing dispute within the party over the radical revolutionaries and establishment party members wishing to maintain stability, and also PLA under famed military leader Lin Bao, or Lin Biao, Lin Biao to deploy and aid the left. Although this implied that PLA should support the radicals, this was not explicit, and instead most PLA units began supporting the establishment party members. These units are actively curbing Red Guard excesses, and ensuring the radical faction in certain areas does not gain access to heavy weaponry or overthrow the local party leaderships. Oh, this will restore legitimacy and stability. Oh yeah, crack down on useless violence. But a lot of it is not useless, and it's absolutely needed for the country. Yay! Good wrong one. Um, anything else here? Tank destroyers? Sure, why not? We're not even using the boat. We'll get them anyways, because we can. Mm. Uh, 
So much we can't research. Kind of sucks that we can't do everything that we want. It's alright though. Uh, I guess we've we've won the space race. I mean, five out of five. There's nothing else here about the space, right? How's this looking again? 96. Come on, baby. Come on. Vo the guy gap. Come on. Just come come to Beijing. We'll give you a good time. Come on, man. 1.16. Not bad. But how's this looking for renewables? Literacy campaign. Something about that. Cool. And I dropped something on the floor. My apologies if you heard a little thud. Hmm. Ah, oh, come on, Vietnam. Good morning, Vietnam. Ah, oh, so weapons of mass destruction. We need more nu We ain't about nuclear reactors. Next nuclear bomb is... Wait, we have no nuclear reactors. But we're making a nuclear bomb. We'll be done in about 100, 110 days. Very nice. Max volunteer one. Oh. Maximum range between all your ICBMs, IRBM, SRBMs, and SLBM. Huh. Wait, current stockpile is three. Wait, we have three nukes. Renewable energy. Oh, we can do it again, I guess. That costs a lot, though. That does cost a lot. Hmm. Is that worth it? Maybe, maybe not. Um, anything else? Combat vehicles? Nice. That's 75. Wow. <sighs> okay. Get some more research. No? Cool. Heavy artillery. Thumbs up from us. Oh, look at all that. Oh, man. Wow, we have a lot to repair. It's alright. It's alright. Whatever. Um, it's a lot of office products that we do lose when we do this, though. And how much energy do we have now? Oh, we have more. We have more than we started with. You know what? Let's do it. China will lead the world in renewable energy. Just don't ask how much carbon we put into the world. Just don't ask. Don't ask. We're do That's why we're doing it. Just don't ask. And once we run out of things to build up, which we won't, uh, we can build up here in North Korea a little bit too. Actually, we don't call it North Korea in this timeline. We just call it Korea. So eventually, I want to max this out. I want to max that sucker out. I kind of am interested to see, play as the USSR someday. Just to see, like, how, how far can we go? Like... How much can we actually industrialize and build ourselves up? Then again, I don't know when the next update for this mod is, so we'll see. Municipal infrastructure, just we can build things even faster. Hello, that is that is so small. Is it even worth building in there and the Himalayas? Probably, honestly not. Probably not, but eh, whatever. We will never run out of things to build, which is great and also kind of sad at the same time, but Crackdown and Useless Violence. The 11th Olympic Winter Games. Nice suits, guys. Nice medals. Moderate the Red Guards. A little more political chaos. It is what it is, as we all know. Ah, Burma. Or now, as we like to call it, China. Turn this into the breadbasket of China. R regardless of all the mountains. God, it's gotta be so hot down here. It's just gotta be so hot. I'm sorry, just... Man, I can't imagine living down there. It's gonna be so, so hot. More judgment, though. Very good. So, where are our soldiers? You guys are down here. Uh, we probably don't need you on there like that. Uh, actually, can we get one solid front line against... Actually, are we going to go to war with Nepal, Nepal or something? No, no, maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Uh, these guys, no, maybe not. Thailand? Oh, we can't do... Oh, world tension's at 84%. Oh, god dang it. Um, yeah, maybe not. Afghanistan, you want a war? Well, that sucks. Darn it, I want to go to war with more people. No. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. All right, let's see what happens when we do this. Research technology. That's a little bit ahead of time. 1980s, we're doing that one too. Uh, we do need helicopter tech, like, realistically. We really could probably use it, so. Get some heavy tanks, because you can. After tank destroyer threes. You know what? Go Project 701. You know, for a mod like this, with all this technology, we could really use things that could help us, like, steal blueprints. I think that'd be good to actually have, so. Um. Because the Warsaw Pact. You're, yeah, they're in the Warsaw Pact, which is not ideal. Uh, realistically, we'll probably do something like this. The really ugly way of doing it. Uh. I wish you could just make a front line against people who are in a faction against. Or just in a faction. It'd be so much nicer. Uh, I just plan on losing this area then. Or just do that, whatever. Whee. Yeah, we're not gonna have enough divisions. God dang it, get up there. Whee. Hello, this is kind of ugly. 
And there we have it. I'm looking to guard North Korea. They can figure that out for themselves. Oh, wait. You already have this? God dang it. There you go. There you go. Now I do it. You shouldn't have too many supply issues. We'll see what happens. We'll do the best we can. Research should be done soon as well. Two days, like, like I said, done. Should be should be done soon. Um, let's go to the light aircraft. We could probably get some better light stuff. There you go. Yeah. Ooh, Gen 3 stuff. Gen, yeah, that's cute. Nice. Um, what else do we have here? Anything else? A focus to do, yes. Protect archaeological treasures. Well, Communist Party of China. Increase military involvement in politics. Oh, well, got all this other side to do as well. So we'll see what happens. Shall we? We shall. But as you can tell, like, yeah, the optimization is okay. It's not great, but it it, it's, it exists. There is some optimization for this mod. It's not as good as uh, the Quest War. Quest of War, like, despite all the content they have, like, it's really fast. Even though they have less to do, like, less for countries to process at the time of this recording, but, like, whew. Fortran. Brute Force Decryption. Plus one decryption. More Intel Network Strength Gain Factor. Nice. Oh, I was trying to pop my back, baby. Oh, yeah. Ooh. About a month we'll have some better tanks-ish. Now, because everyone, where everyone is at, does anyone have attrition? No! Great! Because you're only 20 combo width. Supplies with 0.76. What happens if I made all of them 40 combat width? Because we'll just duplicate these guys and make them 40s. I'm, I'm not sure whether I would like to make them with heavy artillery, medium, or light artillery. Because so let's take a look. We have 1,900 units that we're not even making anymore. Okay, we're not even making... What happened to the military factories? Um, we're down by four, maybe? Main battle tanks, three. Those are, that's fine for now. Going down at 15, that's fine. Uh, we need a lot more of this stuff, which makes sense. Um, stay up at 20. 20 is a good number. That's a good enough number for now. Yeah, we need more military factories. Holy crap, we do. Light mechanized, automatic cannons, light artillery, towed artillery... 1.18 trillion. That's not bad. Um, unity of economic and social policy. Okay, GDR leader Eric Honecker. All right, cool. Build a social society and working class. The economy will be able to achieve the political goals laid out by the state and party. A socialist political system will triumph for the betterment of the workers and state. Interesting. So these guys are. How much combo? Three. These guys are three, and these guys are also three, so. Um, I just care about defense and soft attack. 54, 54. 43, 72. 33, 90. So, we can actually use a mixture of this stuff. I love the extra soft attack that the heavy artillery gets. I love it a lot. Don't get me wrong, I really love it. So, I might use. I might use a mixture. Main battle tank? Four. Yes, please. Um, hmm. In the meantime, let's protect archaeological truckers and let's. Uh, let's not execute them yet. Let's go ahead and strengthen the army's grip on politics. Let's see what we can do about that. Or no, you know, screw it. Screw it. We're going to go over here. Let's execute Dang. We're going to execute Dang. That's probably a bad idea, but so much for TNO. Oh well. Not in this timeline. And that might just be for the better. Obviously, we have no armor. It, that's kind of bad, but piercing. We should do relatively okay on piercing. Um, you know what? We don't have a lot of heavy artillery, do we? Eh, we have an okay amount. We have one or heavy. Let's go with one light to get balanced. And then we'll go with one normal artillery just to balance it out. And we'll end up with another heavy. It doesn't give us that much more defense, but we do get a lot more soft attack. Just sort of piercing a little bit. So actually, how much organization do we have? We have 58. That's not bad. That's still pretty good. We will go with maybe an anti-tank cannon. Because I want to get more piercing just in case we get attacked. Uh, piercing for these guys is what? One. That sucks. Okay, that's not worth it. You get a little more heart attack, but we want to pierce. Anti-air. Anti-tank. You get... Okay, nothing gives us more piercing. Good to know. This infantry will give us more uh, organization. And a lot of defense. That's a lot of defense. Piercing, not too much. Jungler as well. That's fine. That's honestly not looking too bad. If you go with heavy artillery, you lose more piercing, though. Which kind of sucks. But you get more heart, a little more heart attack. Heart attack is a little bit more. Let's go back. Reset. There we go. We'll think about this. Let's let time go on and get more technology done first. 
cool. All that stuff is good. Ships, I can just continue to ignore for now. Um, ignore everything else. Ignore everything else. This stuff is a little bit ahead of time. Let's go to that one. Thank you. Hmm. Because our because these guys, their piercing is 33.7. I mean, these guys are 40 and a half. These guys currently are close to 40 and a half. They're close. Defense is really good. Soft attack is pretty good. Heart attack. Uh, what do we have here? Do we have two heavies? Two arties. This honestly wouldn't be bad. You get more soft attack, get more breakthrough, you get more defense, you get more heart attack. Um, but it's really bad in hills and mountains and jungles, so. And then again, these, pro these guys probably will do even worse. You get more defense, soft attack, heart attack, slightly more piercing. Um, anti air wouldn't be bad either, but it's not really what we're looking for here. I love Artie so much, though, but this gives you definitely more soft attack, more breakthrough, and defense, and air attack, and organization, and HP. Ah, school will do it, anyways. We'll get over 1,000 soft attack. There you go. Cool. Is this great? Probably not. Uh, where are you guys at? You guys are over here? What is the infrastructure like? It's probably not great. Upgrade the state? Go ahead. You're industrializing. That's not bad. It's kind of arid here. 1.19 trillion in GDP. Happy 1972, everyone. I just realized it's 1972, so. Oh, this feels bad. Executing Dang. Deployment of the Red Guard to Tibet and Xinjiang. Saddle in the PLA. Remove Chen Yi. Oh. Well. What is the political chaos level now? Because we're about to increase it. Okay, so Deng Xiaoping, who helped oversee an economic reform campaign and mitigate Mao's economic damages, was executed by the government. <gasps> this stunning news indicates that within the Chinese Communist Party leadership, the radical Maoists are gaining prominence over the establishment party members. Prior to this announcement, Deng had not been formally arrested, though soon after the Cultural Revolution began, he was a target of the Red Guards. The Red Guards thought his economic reforms were capitalistic and opposed Mao. Unlike his political ally Liao Shaoqi, Deng was only purged by his nationals from his national positions. However, he was very quickly tried, convicted, and then executed. Although some rumors speculate Deng had simply been executed by emotional red guards, he was still closely allied with some of the remaining establishment party members, who are now looking at the futures with grave concern following their latest announcement. So that obviously did not happen historically, but we're doing everything that we possibly can here anyway. So, uh, yeah, not great. And after heavy tank five, um, air doctrine, like we said, we're done. Well, we're almost done. We still have ground saturation. JST and mass formations, ground saturation attacks strike focal points at enemy lines with immense ferocity and overwhelm enemy AA defenses in order to create small potential breaches to be exploited by the ground forces. Sounds about right. Sounds about right what you probably want to do and create. So, uh, At least the GDP is almost 1.2 trillion. Feeling pretty good about the Chinese economy. Plenty of manpower. Factories not too bad. 300 command power. And plenty of food. For now. For now. We'll see about that in the future. Heavy tank 5. Well, I can kind of wait. Oh! Yeah! Chemical weapons, yes! Defoliants, yes! Never been so excited for chemical weapons. But light helicopters? ASW. I guess utility. That probably wouldn't be too bad. We're not going to really use them too much. But it, it'd still be good to have probably a few helicopters, right? A few choppers. We can drop people from the choppers. Alright. And... We should have them very soon. There we go. Cool. We got about three weeks left, or four weeks for that one. Okay, so what are we at for this level? Um, games of the 20th Olympiad. Cool. Oh, GDR. Let's see. Socialist Realism. Zhang Qing. Diplomatic Isolation. Rudimentary People's Communes. Uh, so we, you know, we don't have too many issues here so far. We still have 50% stability. Things have been going, getting a little better. I don't think I'm supposed to go down this route realistically, though, so... Yeah. Oh, we, sorry, dang. Not this time. We still this. We're still losing weekly manpower. We barely get any construction speed for it. 1.5%? Soviet loans are so nice. And a good Agarian bourgeoisie. Yeah. It is what it is. I'll put it like that. It is what it is. Um, What are we still building here? Infrastructure? No, we're still building all of our normal stuff. Gunfire the German border. Oh, dear God. Good luck, boys and girls. Good luck. Yeah, fuck. Karl Marx shot. Good job, Karl Marx. Silent in the PLA. American-Soviet arms limitations talks. Good news. 
A deployment of the Red Guard to Tibet and Xinjiang. The remote regions of Xinjiang and Tibet are not only physically far from the Chinese homeland, but also ideologically and culturally distant. The people there lack a revolutionary spirit and cling on to the traditional religious and cultural identities in order to confront this. Mao has directed the Red Guard to enter those provinces and begin their continuous revolution. Religious sites and texts will be targeted. Wearing, the cult wearing of cultural clothes and backwards practices will also be purges or purged from these provinces. Any resist will be arrested for reactionary thoughts soon. With the help of the Red Guard, these places will remove the shackles. Other paths will become a living organism of the revolution. Good news! You're gonna join us or die. Just what everyone wants to hear, right? Cruise missiles? Let's get some bigger bombs. Why not? We like the big bombs. The bigger the bomb, the happier we get. And what else do we have here? Oh! Okay, we can... Oh! Restore order to Shandong. Sure. Sure. Limit the Red Guards, sure. Wait, do we know how these places cord? No, we, there's... I mean, this bus has 100% compliance, yeah, 0%, okay. Well, very weird, alright, whatever, whatever. Make sure we remove this as well, as long as I can still see that's not gonna have. You guys up there are still doing okay. Uh, I'm gonna convert you guys over. We need more anti-tank guided missiles. Oh, guided missiles. ATGMs. Okay. That's what it stands for. Ambushers are very nice, too. Going to train. You're going to need more experience, so. Okay, or don't. Or just defy us. Defy Mal. About a month left for that technology, which is fine. Silo and the PLA. It feels like we shouldn't be able to do both, maybe, but... Complete the purge of reaction institutions. Execute Liu Shao... So who becomes our leader then? Red Guard leaders. The there's two 19th Congress of the Communist Party of China. Um. Um. I don't know, man. I want to do this one, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. So making three office parks, which is pretty nice, but. What are we doing with this stuff? ATGMs are looking, looking great. Auto cannons. Um, multi rolls are looking good too. Everything costs money. Why does everything have to cost money, man? Vili Brandt. Are you guys done with your focus tree? Election 61. 65. Uh, is that 69? Nice. Bundeswehr? I've heard the modern day Bundeswehr is just really not great. So, it seems like this bug. Uh, uh, this one? Yeah, we could do that. But we don't really need to do that. But you know what? We can. And so we will. Still, not bad. <sighs> More office parks. 25% is pretty good. Keep building. Keep building. Hey, 1.2 trillion. Nice. It's 72. We sat on the PLA. I, I guess we'll execute the guy. Does he... Then does, When does Mal become our leader again? Is Nixon still here? When did the Nixon Watergate scandal happen? Let's see, Reagan was 80. Before was Jimmy Carter. 76. Oh, he has to get elected again first, right? And then he'll get a... Uh, caught or something, I think? Something like that? I can't remember. I really can't remember. Nanchang, Q5. Good. Very good, very good. Um, a little ahead of time. Let's not do that one just yet. Get some yaks. Ah, let's go get some yaks. Nice, good stuff. Infantry equipment. We're kind of doing really well in that stuff. Tanks. I don't really want to lower tanks too much. We can lower this by five, maybe. Spread the wealth down here a little bit more because we could really probably use. Eh, naval bombs are okay, but I want more cannons. I like cannons. I like artillery. I like the big boom. Alright, so what's next? Three days left. Cool. So you guys got this stuff. I guess we'll go with this one. Mechanized Airborne? Probably won't ever use it. Probably don't really need to use it, but... Might as well have it, right? Alright, anything else? Three weeks left. Three, two and a half, really. The Salt to Treaty. Okay. Strategic Arms Limitations Talks Treaty. Okay, limit their arsenals. Well, great news. See what you can do. Both nations are led to be satisfied. Oh, hello. 
Another domino. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I guess it ended in 72, huh? Or we left in 72. Well, okay. Honestly, uh, I don't know what they mean. Like, what do you mean? We didn't have a civil war here. Okay, whatever. Come on, they're 98%, man. And I apologize if you couldn't see that. Just, like, sometimes, like, with the, some of the times the music, when music is added, I literally cannot show you the video or, or you know, literally show you the video. Like, it, it's really kind of sad that I can't show you it, so. Sometimes. Sometimes not. Sometimes yes, so. It really depends on the video. Ah, go that one, because we can get more of that stuff. So. Overseas officer training. Nice. Cool. We're just, we're just gonna running. I want. I don't want to say we're running things out of research, but like, I wish it was more. Intermediate range, sure, why not? Because that one's almost done too. Execute the guy and expand outreach to Eastern Europe. Yes, Eastern European influence campaign. More mouse thought and DDR, the People's Republic of Bulgaria and Polish People's Republic. Sounds good to us. The execution of Liu Xiaoqi. As the cultural revolution in, revolution in China rages, the conflict between the radical factions within the party against the more moderate established party leadership shifted in favor of the radicals. Former Chinese president and one time the second most powerful man in China, Liu Xiaoqi was executed. Although he chaired the meeting that launched the cultural revolution, hoping to combat corruption and reform the country, Mao and his supporters quickly took control of it and orchestrated the quick downfall. And quickly took control of it and orchestrated the downfall of Shaoqi and his arrest. He was being held in harsh conditions, but many in China expected he would simply be imprisoned. Ex execution for being a secret capitalist and traitor indicates the radicals are more firmly established, and this is a blow to those in the party hoping for a, a future rehabilitation of Shaoqi to help move the country towards an end of violence. What's going on in China? Yeah, uh, this is very historical anymore, but whatever. 1.2 trillion in GDP, that's all we care about. Yes, yes, GDP. Horrific torture in Central Africa. Um, including Bokasa personally torturing his victims in the middle of a cabinet meeting. Sito dismantled. Facilitate cultural trade and military ties for nations with an interest in preventing the spread of communism. It was only a matter of time. Well, Sito. Well, is it like NATO? Wow, look at that. Good job, Nixon. American Armed Forces, huh? <laughs> Daily communism spread. Goes down. Economic gradualism. Gun con... Nixon, what are you doing here? Did you do this, Nixon? Wild weasels. Heavy napalm integration, nice. Social security at 65, alright. Alright, cool. Tab 63s, very good, very good. Mechanized marines, we're going to get out of those two because we can. Six days left. Hobbins. Uh, yeah, that's that one. They're just a cargo helicopter. They do have armor on them, it's not bad. Let's get the Z6 first. They don't have armor. Okay. Hello. What do we have here? Light mechanized. Utility helicopters. Very cool. Very cool. Um, go into that one. That's fine. That's fine for now. Fine for now. Anything that we really care about? Nope. Anything that we really care about? Not really, no. No, not really. We got plenty of food, though. 1.21 trillion. Very good. Um... Yeah, not bad. Come on, just a little bit more, man. America, what is it? 1.83, it's all slowly going up, the US Army. Appoint Andropov as head of the KGB. 3.17 trillion, how's Germany doing? We have a bigger GDP than federal the Federal Republic of Germany. Not bad. These guys, 0.65 guys, I guess it makes sense why you don't have really good GDP because they're so much smaller compared to everyone else, but still. Are we not doing a. Oh! What? 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 Um. Okay, well, things just flipped over. So that's not good. I want to go back and let's at least finish off some of the things there first. Alright, everyone. So I've decided to tra time travel and use some cons commands. Is that. Khrushchev with corn? All right, well, let's do some focus autocomplete. No, obviously I could do this, like, you know, during the normal time, but we got to get time to progress anyways. Increase tensions with a tiger. Uh, sure, why not? We can do that one. Uh, strike a deal over contested territories. Reissue treaty of friendship. Trigger board conflict. Well, since we're not here to do that. I don't want this one either. Um, I guess we'll expand outreach to Eastern Europe. The Soviet Union abandoned its commitment to proper revolutionary Marxist-Leninism. This led 
Two, the Soviet no Soviet split, and the Cultural Revolution is meant to ensure the revolutionary state never ceases. With the recent success and expansion of efforts to implement a continuous revolution, the Chinese or Chinese Communist Party announced plans to send representatives of several Eastern European states, communist states, to promote our principles and support the anti-revisionist factions. The continued success of the Cultural Revolution continues to demonstrate that China is at the vanguard of revolutionary politics and must work to spread its messages, or its message to work across the world. We must educate them on our, their errors, promote Red Guard leaders. All right. Crush the reactionary rural countryside. All right. Complete the purge of reactionary institutions. The death of Pu Yi. Holy crap. If you wonder about this, please go ahead. Barbaric. A uh, chair of the highest order. And the 19th Congress of the Communist Party of China. Uh, oh, look. He's balding. The 9th Congress of the Communist Party of China concluded recently and his results as being received by cheering crowds across China. A Congress ratified continuous revolution and other principles of the Cultural Revolution as part of the Constitution. In the address by Mao, he promised the Cultural Revolution will continue and called on all workers to expand the scope of it and deliver China from reactionary and counter-revolutionary forces. The Congress prayed the swift justice in the recent execution of former President Liu Xiaoqi and his ally Deng Xiaoping and confirmed the purging of Zhen Zhu and, and Lai as a correct course. The Congress will be dominated by representatives of the radical revolutionaries and the Red Guard. The recent sidelining of the PLA and the purge of the establishment wing of the party meant power lies almost completely in the hands of the radical party radicals. But strengthen the army's grip on politics, and then we'll get the same thing. The 9th century, or 9th century, the 9th Congress of the party, or the CPC. The 9th Congress of the CPC successfully concluded recently. Lin Biao delivered the keynote address to cheering delegates who supported his praise of continuous revolution. The recent purges of the former president, uh, Liu Xiaoqi and his ally Deng Xiaoping, was confirmed and approved and delegates were elected, or elated. The radical wing of the party made substantial gains in terms of representatives, especially from the Red Guard, and had, and had their main... Uh, main guiding principles, like continuous revolution enshrined in the constitution, but Lin Biao ended up being the main winner as he was confirmed to be the successor of Mao and supporters in the PLA also gained many seats. Many view these two developments as an indication that though the radicals remain powerful, they can still be checked and managed, especially by the PLA. This is weird, man. You're supposed to be dead. But you get was more weekly stability, so I'm not going to question it. If we did anything else right now, like we would end up losing it, so... As you saw, we get a new focus tree, so... I'm a little confuzzled. I'm very confuzzled right now. So, yeah, okay. Also, I did ever load an earlier save, but whatever. Um, yeah, we don't need any of this stuff, right? Yeah, very weird. Cool. So, yeah, I'm... It seems kind of odd when the focus tree will change. I kind of wish the mod would tell you, hey, this focus tree will change on this certain day, or by this month, of this certain year. I think that'd be really helpful for us, because now the focus should just change. I didn't know that was going to change on January 13th, 1973. Commercial philosophy? Um, industrial direction. Okay, so maybe this. This seems like it's a kind of a generic focus tree. Is that true? Um, you know, let me know. I think this is a focus... Because we saw this with the, the guys in the GDR, so the time is coming to choose an industrial philosophy and direction for a country's economy. Um, I think we'll maybe have one more episode for this as five-day focus. Okay, industrialism. Renderization. Commercial philosophy. Our nation's income desperately needs a boon if we are to pay for policies and maintain a competitive scene in the world. We should choose a path to gain income. Um, I might just do this next episode and finish this out to see what it's like. So, I think we're done here for this episode. I think we'll save one last episode for the next one. The last episode will be the last one. And we'll just, like, just quickly go through all these and see what happens. But, okay, because, yeah. We're, we're, we're nearing the end for this campaign. It's, 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 it's getting kind of weird. So they're the exact same thing. They're cool. So, I do, I haven't explored the tree yet. So, we'll, next episode, we'll explore this tree together. And probably never explore it again, unless, just because I want to know what it's about. But, hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow, as we'll finish out this campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.